Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more GTA 4 The Lost and Damned. So where did you get them from? Oh, you know, from a little contact I have who really wants you to cut me out of the loop. The hell I get it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, man, what kind of going? shit is out there? Billy, all you gotta do is grab it. And that makes you what? A, uh, shit grabber? <laughs> shit grabber. Wow. <laughs> now see, I like how you did that. It was very good, very clever. Almost like a joke, you know, only it wasn't funny. Johnny, you met Ray? Hey. Ray Bocino? Hey. My brother, Johnny. Johnny the Jew. Johnny the Jew, how the hell are you? Do me a favor, help keep this degenerate out of jail, all right? At least until he's paid me. I'll do my best. Yeah, later. What's he selling you? Toys, my boy, toys. <sighs> now, come on, let's go. Man, where are we going, Bill? Pay somebody a visit. Billy, man, please don't be a dick. Johnny, you seem a little tense lately. Have you considered some analysis? Maybe a day spa? <laughs> High colonic? Colonic. <laughs> that one guy's so annoying. I'm front door on this run, boys! They let me win again. There's no turns, it's the turns that get me in trouble. Make it much easier in this Fuck game. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to wait for them? Come on, hurry up, boys. The v Bunch of slow folks. Fuck yeah. Have I got a <laughs> toy for you? Yeah, whatever. Bro. What do you want? What is this? What? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What are you talking about? These deadbeats are the ones who killed Jason in Broker. I thought it was a pole or a Serb or something. We got some bad information, brother. These are the guys. They killed that kid, and look at you. You're acting like you don't even give a shit. You sick or something, man? These deadbeats killed Jason? Yes, they did. Now, take one of these grenades and put it through their window. 
The Almighty forgives, Johnny. The lost don't. Yeah, amen, Johnny boy. Oh my god, shut up. Nobody likes you. Shocking all these deadbeats. Shit, that's gotta hurt. save my grenades because I feel like I might want those or something else later on. Oh shit, I'm already out of ammo for that? Collect all the ammo first. That's a different gun. That's a different gun. Okay. Maybe we should get the shotgun out. Can't go in that door. Okay. I wanted to kick it open. Or not here. I shot a grenade in the window. That would cause a fire. <gasps> Don't mind me, fuckers. 
Why is that guy just burning? Is he dead? What? What is happening? Hello Sir? there, asshole! Your time is fucking up! I... okay. Oh! Get down! <laughs> Sorry to intrude, gentlemen, <laughs> but we got a little business matter! Find some cover! Before I'm done, yeah! Get yeah, what you're after! Self-respect and your blood! What you lurking down here for? Their place at least seems a little bit cleaner than ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the deadbeats have got themselves one shitload of heroin. <sighs> Pack it up, Johnny. Wait, I don't understand. What? I thought this was payback for Jason, man. What the fuck is this? Two million in arm candy is as good a payback as I can think of. Uh, Come Jesus, on, brother. Man, hold your fucking horses, man. Now we're gonna steal their smack? Slow down. Slow down, huh? Hold up. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Physics lesson, fuckball. Do you know how motorcycles work, do you, Johnny? You about to get school. Centrifugal inertia. Meaning, the quicker your wheels go, the more stable you are. The faster we go, the harder we hit it, the more us brothers pull together. That's why we do what we do. That's how we do what we do. Why? How? They're the same fucking thing. We go faster, longer, and harder. And that's how we stay together. Brian, shut up. What the fuck are you talking about? You gotta stop reading them shitty internet sites, man, and start thinking about what you're doing to us. We lift this shit right now, and every deadbeat on the East Coast is gonna come after our chapter. Well, that's something your leader will have to worry about, not you, soldier. Brian, grab the shit. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens at the end of this. How all this goes down. I'm really excited for that. Thanks for waiting, guys. Shit. It's the man. Go see Liz Torres. She might be able to unload some of that shit we found. If it's cool, you can collect from Brian. Okay. Oh, wow. That was... <laughs> Glad I hadn't made it very far. The opposite direction of where I need to go. Ooh. Haha, Johnny, I've sent you a link to the Dead Beats website. Check it out. Would that be at the internet cafe? Let's just see. Coat seems nice and warm. Don't spill shit on the computers. No promises. Where's my email? Oh, check me out though. Hey baby. Man, I fucked things up. I know I did, but you weren't a saint. You weren't. You're who you are, and you do bad shit, and hanging out with you made me do bad shit, even though it ain't your fault. But I did bad shit to you because you were my world. I thought you would kill me, and you didn't, so that makes you a better person than some. I'm so glad we're friends now. It makes me happy to know you're on my side, even though we ain't together and we both fuck things up. 
We are at least friends. I'm off the drugs, Johnny boy. I'm off them. I don't want to get high no more. Not ever. I'm sorting myself out. I'm even exercising. I went running yesterday. I was nearly a model one time. I'm going to go to college or something. Give back. I miss you. It won't never be the same without you, but it's the way it's got to be. I know that. We both did bad shit and we hurt each other and people who love each other ain't meant to hurt each other. Your friend, Ash. Ash, ain't much point going over shit again. Whole world we live in is fucked up, and we belong in that world. Things weren't meant to be, and I don't seem to be the family man type. I'm your friend, nothing more, not ever. I can't watch you do any more drugs. Good luck staying clean this time, Johnny. Okay, cool. Brother. So they let him out. Ridiculous in some ways. Man, it's tough. I love my brothers, all of them, but there's brothers who stood by me. You, Jim, Clay, and a few others. And brothers who said they would, and I think we know which camp Billy and Brian fall into. This is my life now. I can't ride into the sunset. I can't ride into anything. I'm stuck in a chair, and I need money. I need it. So we have to keep making it. It's tough. I hope Billy don't fuck it up for all of us. He nearly did last time. We are a small crew. We can't beat the deadbeats, but we can live alongside them. Billy will come out and go on a rampage, and Brian and those other clowns will drag us all along. It ain't going to be good. It's just a question of how bad. Be safe, Angus. I hear you, brother. Whatever happens, you know me and you are brothers. Johnny. Brother, check out this site, man. Fucking assholes. If ever you thought this war weren't worth fighting. Is there a point to reading this or just learn more about them? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Encourage your child to be an outlaw. Freaking diapers. Oh my god. Q&A. What's this we've heard in the news about a war with a lost MC? The news media has been lying to the American people since the Founding Fathers signed the Declaration of Independence. Look at the unfairness with which they treat our president. Anyway, the lost MC are a bunch of criminals who ain't fit to lick the grease from, the, from an AOD camshaft, let alone go to war with us. We in the Angels of Death are a group of upstanding citizens who have come together over a mutual love of motorcycles. There's no war because there's no contact between the two clubs. Except... We're upstanding citizens, but you want your child to be an outlaw, so buy this diaper for them. Oh my god. Delete. Get rid of that spam. Dear Mr. Klebitz, as a valued Bank of Lee Bertie customer, we would like to inform you that online access for your account has expired. For your convenience, we ask that you provide us with the following information so that internet banking services can be reactivated. Account number, login, password, mother's maiden name, first pet's name, social security number. We thank you for your understanding and apologize for any inconvenience. Hmm, seems legit. Let's send it. I love how that guy didn't care, care that we were carrying our gun in there. Oh! Hey, Johnny! The big bad biker man! Liz Torres, the meanest bitch in Bohan! Oh, come here, sweetie! Shit, I'd let you kiss <laughs> oh me, Oh my god, how did you forget about her already? While I was doing it. You wouldn't be the first man I tried that trick on, sweetie. Yeah, I heard the stories. Listen, I also heard you got somebody for that brown. Maybe. There's an apartment on Cassidy Street in Shortler. You go upstairs and talk to Charlie on the third floor. There any heat? When isn't there? I got a new guy going along with you. He's from Eastern Europe somewheres. If the heat's coming from Charlie, use this Slavic motherfucker to help. But if it's him, you know what you gotta do. Well, either way, it ain't coming back to you, Liz. Hey, you know Playboy? He's going along too. Hey, Playboy! Yo, chill for a second, Joe. Nah, not really. Well, don't you want to dance? No, I'll just sit right here and wait for your boy. <laughs> Ooh. This is going to be so weird! This is going to be so
guys just need to calm down. I'm literally not even close to you. Relax. I know you've seen weirder, scarier shit than a man driving his motorcycle in a walking space, okay? You don't live in this city, and that's what freaks you out. Give me that shit, man. We gotta buy her. I, I don't know why Billy got you to handle this, and not me. I mean, what's up with that, huh? I guess your Semites are good at... Sniffing out a deal. Uh, Ain't that right, Johnny? I didn't get you because Liz Torres and any other two-bit hustler on the street would take you for the little pussy that you are. And rob you blind. But give me that shit. See you around, big guy. Oh, yeah. Cool. I forgot how nice these apartment buildings are. Real homey vibes. Yep, real homey. Definitely seems like a place I want to live. This is so weird! Buyer is some Asian dude called Charlie. Like in the Vietnam. <laughs> Just like the movies, money. Yo. Hey, man. Ah! Hey, you ready? Sure, let's do this. Nothing like selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Not much. Let's do this. You got the heroin, right? Right? Come on, let's do this quickly. But you got the heroin, correct? You're carrying it, correct? I mean, it's a simple question. What's wrong with you? You're being fucking weird. <laughs> Not weird, man. I just want to know if you're carrying the stuff, right? You ain't right, friend. No, Come no, on, no, let's no. get out of here. LCPD! Freeze, motherfucker! I said freeze! <laughs> it's so weird being on the company. other side. You head up, and I'll go down. Come out in the open! Come oh, okay. A little Mr. Dive roll over there. Getting all fancy. Yeah, you better look worried. Oh, that one. Fuck. I need help. You better hope you kill me. I'm coming down. How how overkill would it be if I did this? I've been shot. I'm going in. Please call Help. an ambulance. I didn't even do anything. This shit's too easy. Everybody get back. Can I get health or armor or anything? Fuck them, fuck! Everybody get down and stay down until I say it's okay to move! Ah, fucking die! <laughs> Am I supposed to be going up or down? I think down, because I'm pretty sure I went up with Nico. <laughs> I'm a 
wasn't listening. I was too busy not trying, trying not to die. I've been shot. You're going down, dirtbag. Oh my god. Yeah, you're probably right. Come on, you pussies. Oh my god, he's still alive. Ooh, that sounds like a bad way to go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dude, I'm gonna die. That guy's tough. Holy shit! Die! You're dead. Is he? Are we sure? Listen, the ammo's great, but I would prefer to have some health and armor. Do I have to go out the front door? No escaping news. This is not a good plan. Sorry, people, but I'm I'm fleeing the cops here, so you gotta get out of the way. Oh, this isn't the most stealthy vehicle I've ever chosen. Well, you know, that's that's one way to do it. It's not a good way. But it's... It's a way. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! different than my motorcycle. Oh, no, I'm dead again. 
I'm not making it out of this. I'm not making it out of this. Run you over. Oops. Come Sorry. On. Oh my god, they're fucking everywhere. I'm thinking I'm trying to flee from the cops. Dog, get out of my way! Over now. This is your final warning. No, you can't make me. I know you've got the fire in you, so let's see it. You see my oh. car here? better. Okay, I guess we're going back this way now. <laughs> you are trying my patience. Talking to me like I'm his freaking child. Oh yeah, we're going this way. Dude, how am I supposed to get out of this situation? Right into another cop. Can I steal that plane? Forgot how slippery the grass is. I'm so over this. <laughs> I'm so over this. I need a pan spray. Where's the closest pan spray? Of course, it's fucking far away.
my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is cute area. I don't think I ever came here in the base game. Fucking crazy. Wow. Game set match. No police. So ask man. Get out of the vehicle. Mike, put the hand in the air. Please hurry up, Nico. Oh my god. It's not even Nico, it's Johnny. I can't do this! Fuck this mission! Oh my god, this isn't even fun! This isn't even fun! Well, might as well just fucking die now, because I'm not gonna make it out of this. I fucking can't do this! Damn it, they're everywhere! Oh good. Oh good, this is a fucking dead end. Oh my god, I can see the edge. I can see the edge. Well, that's gonna fucking screw me over. Please, please, for the love of god. The fact that cars can't drive on grass without being fucking ice cubes is so fucking ridiculous to me. Oh my god, this is literally the worst mission ever. This is literally the worst mission ever. It was so dumb. That was not fun. That was not fun in the slightest. There is no joy I had there. Fuck that. Seriously. Are we rich? No, Billy, we're not. What we are is under observation by some kind of LCPD drugs task force. The fire was a pig. Well, Johnny, that's not kosher. I'll call you when another buyer's lined up. Sounds good. We're moving up in the world, Johnny. There's a congressman needs your help. Tom Stubbs the third. I told you keeping that lawyer around would have its uses. This guy's at one of them dumbass gentlemen's clubs in Algonquin. The kind without tits. The jousters. Politicians and lawyers? What are we becoming, man? Next thing you're gonna tell me, we're doing some shit kicking for the LCPD. It's just opposite the Libertonian. Go pay him a visit. If you're still thinking about your brothers and not just your own ego, that is. Look at that! Liz Torres. Hey, it was good to see you, Daddy. Yeah, only problem was your friend, the UC. He nearly blew my ass off. How's your fancy European friend working out? Okay, okay. Seems like maybe he's the only guy in the city not working for the state. Him and the lost MC. Me and the brothers are tight. I hope so, for your sake, Johnny. 
Johnny, you know. <laughs> See you soon, baby, huh? <sighs> that was frustrating. Stay safe. Stay Second Amendment. I want my motorcycle back. <laughs> Stubs. Is this guy gonna care that I'm getting in the cover? He's <laughs> like, yeah, you might be undercover. Hello. Johnny Clevett. Yeah, who's this? You tried to offload some smack to a colleague of mine called Charlie. Costly mistake. Who the fuck is this? Agent Jones, FIB. We'd like you to come in for a talk. Things might be easier for you if you give us some information on your motorcycle club. Fuck you, Fed. This conversation's over. If you got any evidence on me, get a warrant. I bet that freaking um, what's his name? The kiss-ass guy who's really annoying. I bet he's gonna turn into a rat. That's what I'm calling right now. I love how the cops get really pissy if I bump into somebody when I'm driving on this road, but literally every other car cuts each other off and drives like a maniac, and they don't care. Like... They're just like, oh, yeah, you hit people? Whatever. But if I hit people, no, no. How dare I? Politics. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. I thought I'd inquire about a membership. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Under this ravaged, drug-addled exterior lies the heart of a reactionary prick. So I thought I'd fit right in here. I think you should leave, sir, before I call the police. I think you should leave, sir, before I... Dude, it is the 21st century. Let me tell you something. You've got a job wiping rich pricks' asses, and for some reason you seem a little pleased with yourself. Will you leave? Trust me, man, nothing would please me more. But I'm supposed to see Tom Stubbs, and well, he said to meet him here. Oh, Mr. Stubbs, sir. Okay, you only had to say so, sir. Follow me, will you? Mr. Stubbs is in the day spa, receiving some back work. Right in the are. day spa? <clears throat> <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Mr. Stubbs, a gentleman for you. Oh, thank you, Levis. And thank you. <laughs> so, you're David Grossman's friend. Oh, yeah. We're old, old buddies. Love the old boy network. Yeah, I can imagine. So, what is it that you want? Could you excuse us, sugar? Okay, sure. And thank you. Best massage I ever had that didn't involve a happy ending or a poignant sense of guilt afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Mm. Tom Stubbs, how do you do? Well, now that you've mentioned it, I'm starting to feel a little queasy. <laughs> Don't be pathetic. And no secrets here, pal. Now listen, I'm in a bit of a bother sport. Well, I think they could fix that with surgery these days, you know? Can we stop with the jokes? Grossman tells me you're reliable. Grossman? That guy's an asshole. Look, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by pretending to be a good guy. I'm a politician. I'm a cynic. I'm very needy. I need people to like me. I need people to like me so that they elect me. I need people to elect me so that I feel marginally less bad about myself when I stare into the mirror. That being said, I try to do a good deed here and there. Democracy is a beautiful thing. Personally, I prefer a benign dictatorship without the pretense of choice. But let's leave the political discussion, shall we? Yes, let's. <clears throat> Unfortunately, an awful man has ensured that my chance of being reelected is pretty much zero. Why? Blackmail? Not exactly. I need his money, and he hasn't died. What? You want me to kill your father? No, that's disgusting. How could you suggest such a thing? My father died years ago, thank God. No, my uncle, 
That sanctimonious do-gooder controls the family trust. Whoa. That's heavy, man. Yes. So is being arrested for drug running and spending the next 30 years in prison. You and your little gang, I mean. I see. You make a wonderful politician. I know. Now, you've got to get the old goat today. Make it spectacular. Make it appear as though it's a terrorist act. That'll do wonders for my campaign in all sorts of ways. Uh, Levis will give you a package on the way out. Right. Oh, and Klebitz! Trust me. I am what I am. But I look out for those who help me. A blackmailer with a conscience. Beautiful. Speaking of feeling queasy, shit. Blech. Did not need to see that. <gasps> my bike! Oh my god! <laughs> Just... Oh! That was not the package I was expecting from Leavitz. Another freaking run away from the cops. I do not have the patience for that right now. After the last time. Something about fake terrorist acts gets me all excited, Clubbits. You can either take out the chopper as it lands, or deal with the convoy as it makes its way out of the airport. By the way, I've got a man at the southwest gate. Who can help you if you're locked into the runway area? We're trying to protect people over here. Take a step back. I thought they had a guy. This is not the Southwest Take a Gate. Step back, buddy. This is off limits to you. Okay. You don't racially profile like a terrorist, but I'm about to start treating you like one. <laughs> Did I get it? All right, cool. <laughs> ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh my god, the grass. The grass! Yes. Oh <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to stop there. That was that was an episode. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, OK, so. <sighs> I felt like. The the complaints that I had about GTA 4 in terms of, like, the quirkiness and the age were much less noticeable at first in this DLC. Like, when we were doing things with, like, the gang and we were riding our motorcycles with the gang and we had, like, two times we had to get rid of the cops, but it was, like, one cop in two seconds. It, like, wasn't big chases or anything like that. The shootouts were all, like, in big open spaces. That's where the game really shined. It was it was great. In this video, however, we are back in the confined hallway spaces with the bad camera angles, the bad like crouching cover mechanic, lots of 
running away from cops in cars. And it definitely, those complaints that I had with GTA 4, I definitely was noticing in this game. Now, that one mission, obviously, I was just getting really frustrated and it just made it a lot worse. But that one, the fact that I was running away from the cops for what felt like, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then I died and I had to redo the entire fucking mission again from the beginning and not just like the escape the cops part, which is very frustrating. <laughs> very frustrating um and again i forgot how it's like when you put an ice cube on a freaking countertop and it just like skates across that's how it feels to drive on the grass in this game and that was very noticeable as i was trying to get away from the cops because there's just so many cops and the bubble was so large that i had to drive in those weird places to even hope to get away from them so that was much more noticeable but <laughs> that being said now that i'm out of that one mission <laughs> I did have a lot of fun this video, even though it didn't seem like it. That one instance, I didn't have fun. But outside of that, I did have a lot of fun. It was very, very cool playing as Johnny during that mission with Nico. So having played it as Nico the first time and now seeing it through Johnny's eyes was really cool because you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And I don't know why I say that because you would anyways. But um, when you when we played that mission as Nico, if I recall correctly, we weren't sure if Johnny was like dirty or not. Like, we, I, I'm pretty sure Nico wasn't sure if we could trust Johnny. Um, and we weren't sure if Johnny was the one who, like, shanked that deal. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't sure if Johnny was the one who shanked that deal, especially because there's other missions down the road that got fucked up that Johnny was involved in. And it seemed like it kept getting fucked up when Johnny was involved. I definitely thought Johnny was to blame for that or the lost and damned, the, the, whatever, the crew. Um was to blame for that. So it's really curious. It's really interesting to see the other side of that. And it's really cool. Although it really threw me off, as was evident by the fact that I called him Nico. <laughs> um, but this last mission we just did, that was kind of fun. Although I was confused because I thought the Southwest Gate, I don't, I obviously, I clearly didn't look at the map. I don't know where I was. Um, but the fact that they all like started attacking as soon as I pulled out a weapon, even though I wasn't, like, at the gate was really cool. And the fact that I was able to just rocket launch him from there <laughs> was also a lot of fun. So I am definitely, definitely excited to keep playing and to see what happens with the gang because clearly shit's going to go down. We already know that. Um, but I'm excited to see that through Johnny's perspective and to see what actually happens to the gang that has Johnny end up with Trevor. Because he, the gang is not going to make it through this DLC. I just know that. I would be shocked if it did. Unless he, like, runs. Well, maybe he's leading it now. I don't know. Whatever. Shit's going to come to a head with Billy. I already know that. And I'm very curious to see how that all goes down. Um, but now I'm, like, blanking. I know that Trevor kills Johnny in GTA Five, But I'm, like, blanking on if he was, Johnny was part of the gang still in GTA Five. I don't remember at this point. I guess I'm gonna have to replay that too. <laughs> but anyways, I'm definitely excited for the actual story of this and to see what happens and to continue to see that other side of missions and characters that we recognize from the base game. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.